When Gene Roddenberry first started work on the original Star Trek, one of the first people he hired was Matt Jeffries. He knew that if you didn't buy the Enterprise, if that starship didn't look right, you simply wouldn't buy the show. That's one of the reasons it makes it so real, is that Matt really believed in that the Enterprise was a character, and it was a place where you could live and work, and I think that came across. Jeffries approached the Enterprise that it had to be instantly recognizable. It had to be distinctive, even when you only saw it just swoosh by. He took Roddenberry's descriptions. He knew that somewhere between the hardware realism of NASA and the fantasy of science fiction magazines, somewhere in there was his starship.